Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to do a, um, excuse my voice y'all, I just woke up. Today I wanted to share a get ready with me. I'm on my way to work. As you can see, I have on my black Sephora shirt. This clip will be me getting ready and I probably will speed through it and maybe do a voiceover. Not sure. I did use one or two new things as far as my makeup routine so i start off with my sephora gel um, eyeliner then i go on with a the mascara then i use the anastasia brow gel to coat my um, brows and then i go in with the glow recipe primer and then i go behind it with a little bit of powder then i put on my lashes and then next i move on to my danessa myricks um bomb foundation y'all when i tell you i am in love with this hair particular foundation and then i go in with a concealer one that matches my skin tone and one that's a little lighter to give me that little that highlight look and then i go in with my beauty blender just to blend everything out and then and then next i move on to my chanel bronzer and then i use my one size setting powder i am looking to get the pink one but this one will do for now and then I finish it off with my highlighter blush and yeah, and then I start sweeping everything off and I am done you all. So now what I'm doing is here my lunch. So I'll probably go and show you what I decided to pack for lunch. So I'm gonna just do my lip really quick to update you with my mental health state. Uh, what I have been doing to kind of like um push through like i stated i am feeling a whole lot better thank god um start taking some stress pills because i really feel like a lot of my depression and everything is coming from stress with dealing with life and personal things what it doing was for one i surround myself with positive people um people that don't drain me and wear me down so that's one thing i'll say i did change in my life my circle of friends were mentally draining. With me getting older, I know we all go through things, but every day, like it's always something. So for me, I have removed myself from messiness and drama that helped my mental state a whole lot. If that takes me cutting people off or just walking away, then so be it because right now, with me reaching a certain age, I don't have time for all of that. And I also write down my good days and my bad days. And every morning, I, I pray a little prayer to myself over my kids, myself. I also pray that I have a good work day. Work is not stressing me out, so let me make that clear. It's nothing stressing me out at work. It's just something that happened a couple of months ago that kind of like threw me off. Other than that, Work is kind of like fun for me. It's like it helps with my mental state because that's why when I go to work, I try and have fun. I come home, it's like, okay, I'm home. It's a pause. Device to use your echo. Like I said, when I go to work, I try and have fun because that's where I socialize at. I don't have like, I do have friends outside of work, but that's where I mainly enjoy talking to people because not only do I talk to my coworkers, I also talked to clients a couple a couple weeks ago um I had this lady come into the store she was um looking at makeup well Dior and I was like hey how can I help you and we just got to talking and she was just like I don't know but I need to let you know that God said everything is going to be okay and let me tell you when she said that I just started crying because I was just like Hey Alexa. I was like, oh my gosh, because I was just praying. I remember praying like God, your thing be okay or whatever. I forgot exactly how I prayed, what I prayed that day. She came and said that God said be okay, stop worrying and stuff like that. I just started crying. And she gave me a big hug. And after I remember after her leaving, I was like, I have to step to the back because I had to gather myself because that was just so crazy, you know, that she came in and said that to me. For me, I took it as God sent her into that store to speak to me. That's what I took from that. And I was just like, because sometimes, I don't know, I don't go to church like I'm supposed to. 
when things like that happen, I'm like, wow, God is listening to me. Like, I know God got my back. It's just that sometimes, um, sometimes I'm be honest, I don't see it. And at the, in the, and in the moment, I just react with stressing and everything like that. And I'm trying to get better with that. It was so bad where I couldn't even drink coffee. Like, I haven't been drinking coffee for the past couple of days because my anxiety was so bad one day, like a couple of days ago, that it just turned my stomach. And I didn't want to drink coffee because I felt like it would have made me worse. So I was just like, so now, instead of drinking coffee, I've been drinking smoothies. Now, I didn't cut coffee out, of course. But I just wanted to take a break from coffee. I just try to stay positive. You know, like I just try to have happy thoughts. I try not to think about negative things. Think about, I try not to think about things that I have no control over. So, so yeah, I will say working and socializing do help out a lot. Because if I didn't work or if I wasn't able to be around people, I think that would probably weigh down on me really heavy. Because... Like I said, socializing do help out a lot because talk and have fun. Like, that's what I like to do. I don't like to be around messiness. Like, I just like to have fun, you know, shop, eat, have lunch, go to coffee shops, you know, do fun stuff. It's just fun to be around good people. Like, when my daughter and I went um, out with my other Sephora, um, with my other Sephora friend with her daughter. We had a good time. Like, it was, like, really fun. She, like, matched my vibe. She liked social media, like, taking pictures. You know, we were all dressed alike. Like, we um, dressing up for the Barbie movie. Like, we had such a good time. She wear makeup like I do. Makeup. Like, it was just really fun to be around somebody that likes what you, that's into what you into, if you get what I'm saying. I'm going to have to get ready to get ready for work. Um, maybe I'll continue this video when I get home because I do get off at five show you my smoothie I don't have time to bring out my extra lights so hopefully you can see me I usually make myself a slice of um like a slice of toast this the bread that I get from Aldi, y'all. Let me tell you, I love that bread. Like, that's the bread I have in the morning with my cup of coffee. But like I said, um, just cut back on coffee for right now. When I make my smoothies, I put, I'm going to show you, I put this in here. And it helps um, put in my smoothie so that gives my energy. So this is why I was like, okay, let me go back to smoothies. Because in the winter time, I don't like to be cold, so I won't have a smoothie in the winter. I do need to find some disposable cups. I don't know what I was thinking, because I bought these smoothie cups, but or disposable cups, because smoothies can be kind of messy. This hair cup I got off of Amazon. When I make my smoothies, I usually use these here. I um, use these here Walmart packs, smoothie packs. And I use like half of a bag. And then I'll put some um, almond milk in here. And some I sprinkle some other stuff too, some smoothie mix. Sprinkle this here smoothie mix in my smoothies to kind of sweeten it up. And I did also put in a um, banana to like, like to make it creamy. smoothie all right you put water some soap and then you run it so I'm gonna do that really quick so when I come home later on see my son y'all that's my oldest son hey boy shut up that's my oldest son y'all he's he he, we talk like all day, like five, ten. We yes, he has to talk to his mom every day. We talk like five to ten times a day, y'all. Uh, I know that's right, son. And he treats me to Starbucks whenever I want to, y'all. My son is so good to me. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, my oldest son, y'all. Y'all don't never see him. His name is Marshall. I'm gonna call you right back. 
Then I use this big ass straw because I did purchase this because you can use this hair cup with boba tea because this is what I also use. Yeah. Um, I think sprouts. So this is what I use. I make my own boba tea. And when I make this, I usually add my coffee in with it. But like I said, I just don't want coffee this morning. So now, oh, let me show you my lunch really quick. So here's my lunch bag. I am my popcorn in here, but it's too wide. So um, I made potato salad. So I had some potato salad, popcorn, these little snacks just in case I want more. A kind bar and these here little peanuts and some water. It's kind of boring, but I don't like to eat heavy because if I eat heavy, I'm ready to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm about to um, go put my shoes on and get ready for work. It's 8.47, I'm so proud of myself. I was able to do a get ready with me, pack my lunch, make my smoothie, and still make it out on time. Probably I'll pick up the camera once I get home just to end this here vlog. So yeah, y'all, Miss Tamika is getting back to herself, hopefully, <laughs> feeling better. I'm feeling better. I pray. I have to say my prayer before I leave because every time I say my prayer before I leave, I always have a good, good day. Like, always have a good day. Say my prayer, put my shoes and stuff on. So, I will see y'all when I get home from work. So good morning, um, this is day two. I didn't get a chance to um, pick up the camera yesterday y'all because yesterday was so crazy. Like once I done my makeup and I was on my way to work, I get to work and my um, key fob battery dies on me. And keep in mind I came from a car key versus a key fob. So I was panicking. Like I said, that's where my anxiety started kicking in. I started like going crazy because I didn't know what was going on because like I said, this is my first time ever having a um, keyless car. I didn't know how to lock my door because it didn't, my key fob don't have a, um, a flip up key. It had like the key fob um, cover on it. So, um, one of the guys in the store at my job, because um, I didn't make it to work, so one of the guys at the job threw the key fob off of my key. Let me show you. Here's my key fob, because you know I had that fancy cover. Having that fancy cover, I wasn't able to get to my actual key, because this is what my key looks like. And even with this, it's not a, a place where you can place your key inside, so you have to place this like on this like fake key look on the side of the um ignition part hold it on it y'all when i tell you i was going crazy i couldn't lock my door um i had to turn off the inside of my lights because the lights wouldn't turn off because i couldn't lock the door so yesterday was so crazy like i was just like what just happened i'm <laughs> getting a battery for my key fob um like i said they ended up helping me they popped the back off so i did purchase a a new battery all that i was just like you know what i'll talk to my friends later here is the next day so like i said um i said my prayer and today's going to be a good day a cup of coffee i was trying to pour everything and show it on camera but i forgot to hit record <laughs> it was really good um i got to see my sephora family and one of the girls at the store, she always hooks us up. So she gave, she gifted me this here, um, Lacetane, Lacetone Exfoliant Smoothing Paste. So I did use this this morning, you all, and it made my skin feel so soft. It's to like really, really use it because like I said, I have to work this morning. So far, so good. And it's, mmm, and it smells so good. So I was so happy she gifted this to me. My day, I made my lunch. Um, I have the same thing again. Well, I do have my yogurt or well, parfait. I put fruit 
uh, strawberries, blueberries, and I had the granola at the top. Y'all, this is my favorite. When I tell you, I buy like a big case of um, yogurt at Walmart, and I usually have that like all the time. My uh, popcorn salad. This is my last stand, and I'm off the weekend, so I'm thinking about filming this weekend. But yeah, y'all, yesterday was crazy. Like I said, um, I'm gonna have to look into look into my car a little more because like I said, I'm new to this whole keyless entry thing. And then when I went to try to put the key in to lock the door, the little piece fell off and I was like, oh my gosh. And the guy at the, in the store said, it's supposed to come off. I was like, see, I was like, you know what? For a big help, thank God for that. Um, I'm about to grab a straw so I can have my coffee on my way to work. So I'm gonna end this here vlog. I just wanted to get on here and let y'all know whatever you're going through, just remember it's only temporary. Um, but God is in control if you trust and believe. And with that being said, you all, I hope y'all have a wonderful, blessed week. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah.